What would happen if a train carrying nuclear fuel crashed here in Fort Wayne? Well, federal, state, and local agencies teamed up today to demonstrate just that. News Channel 15's Gina Glaros joins us now with the story. Gina? Mark, since the mid 90s, the program has held accident exercises across the country. Today, it came to Indiana for the very first time. One by one, agencies from across the nation get off a handful of buses and pile onto benches at Bearfield's X Rail Yard. The reason? To make sure everyone is on the same page in case of a nuclear accident. We can read textbooks all day long, but when you can have your hands on a training opportunity like this, it enables us to not only look at what our response is, but the agencies that would be also included in an incident like this. The Naval Nuclear Propulsion Program out of Washington, D.C. hosted Wednesday's event. So that really gives us this opportunity to practice and reinforce our communication as well as make sure that we all know each other so the first time we're meeting is in, in a response to an actual event. During the simulation, a truck runs into a shipment of solid metal nuclear fuel. The person inside is injured and crews make sure the container carrying the fuel is intact, which officials say is meant to withstand more than 50 times the force of gravity. So they're designed to withstand falls, from great heights, fires, puncture, and combinations of those events. And because of how precisely it's stored, there's never been an incident since it started carrying these shipments, about 800 of them, more than 50 years ago. It operates aboard a nuclear-powered warship and has a continued operation in those circumstances, and that fuel is encased in the container itself. So regardless of what happens on the railway here, there really isn't a concern for the public. As this simulation leaves Fort Wayne and picks back up across the country, everyone is ready in the rare chance a real emergency passes through. It's been a lot of hard work, but as you can see today, I think we all walked away and it was worth it. The organization chose the Hoosier State this year because we have more railways than most other parts of the nation. Gina Galeros, News Channel 15.